Ba weep gonna weep ninny bong. This is Sean Prime 01 here. I'm back with a, another video review. And today we'll be taking a look at the Transformer Transformers Generations Optimus Prime, which is the fall of Cybertron Deco Optimus Prime. And he is the kind of G1 inspired truck. As you can see here. And it rolls. Like rolly things should. Let's kind of get in close so you can see. Now, if you haven't played the video game, play it. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Just, just get off this review and then go buy the game. You must do it. It's a great game. I used to love playing that game until it messed up on my Xbox. And that really sucked. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a little Autobot symbols right there. He does have a gun, G1 inspired. You can peg it in on these holes, right there, right there, or right there, right there, and just and even if you just want to, it's kind of like right there or right there. Now, just for a little comparison. He is with G1 Grimlock. I know it's just a random comparison, but it's the quickest thing I could transform that I thought would be kind of okay to compare to. And really, if you want to, well, he, you know, he won't do that. I was going to say he could pop on his back. Not really. But now let's get down to transformation. So first what you want to do, you want to come up to the front, unpeg these, take them, put them down here to these little holes. Next one to do is come around here, take the legs, untap them, and then put them down. Take one of these joints, put them down, take the feet. No ones, put them kind of up like this, and push them down again. And there are his feet. Next one to do is you want to take the arms, untap them from the chest, flip them around, and pull them down. Oh, I'm gonna turn the fist. I forgot to do it on that one. Before I started this review, I just want to take these, just flip them back. Mine are a little stiff. Then you want to take this top piece, if you can. Top piece right there. Flip it up. Then flip it all the way up until you hear a click. And his arms may go like, yeah! But yeah. And here we have Optimus in his robot mode. Gonna put the camera a little bit up. And yeah. He is a deluxe size. He's a little small. So. Yeah. But, he's, but he still is a pretty nice representation of the video game. How he looked in that. And again. Go and buy that game right now. Go do it. Do it. Do it now. Just, just go buy the game. And he just transform into a size comparison. Now for a size comparison, he is with G1 Grimlock again. Mine's a little beat up. I haven't stickered up this guy. And yeah, they're basically the exact same height. Grimlock's a tad taller. But you know, he was in the video game too, so. I know he was a good bit taller. Now let's just give him his gun. And he has a nice pose ability. can get him in some really cool dynamic poses. 
And if you have played the video game, then you will know what I'm about to do. If I can do it. Remember that scene from the video game? No, I think it was just from the season trailer. Oh, yeah. But anyway, let's run. Let's before we do posability and articulation, let's get a close up on that face. If I can get a close up on this face. I mean, kinda. So we're dead. Posability: the head's on a ball joint, so you can get a nice range of motion out of that. You can look up at Metroplex. Yeah! It's arms, full 360, little swivel right there, elbow joints, and 360 wrists due to transformation. Let's have a waist joints. His legs go forward and back. Those have a knee joints. He's a ball jointed foot, and if you want to count those as his joints, you could do that with his foot. Or you want to call that? So yeah. Overall, this is a nice figure, a great figure to add to your collection. I would highly recommend it. So I think that's about all I have to say. So be sure to check out my channel for other vi for other video reviews, and please don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. And this is Sean Brime, signing out.